Hey, how's it going? Zach Calhoun here from cloudpanda.com. Hope you're having a great day. Today I'm featuring two new features that we have released on Cloud Pano, um, and I'm excited to share them with you today. Now, whenever you log into your Cloud Pano account and start editing your 360 virtual tours, there is a couple new features you're gonna see in your brand kit, which is right here. When you click on edit tour, you click down one, click brand kit, you'll see different default hotspot options and you can upload logos and change different themes. But if you scroll down a little bit further, just below the set up your white label URL is an, a new embedded tours feature called a splash screen. So what's that look like? It looks like a play button that opens up a tour only when you click play. So it loads that tour when you click play, which is really nice for certain situations when you only want to load the tour when, so, or only want to view the tour when someone clicks play. And below here, we have a our watermark feature we have upgraded and made it more prominent on the virtual tours. And it, of course, defaults as the Powered by, powered by Cloud Piano, and you can change that, change the messaging here and link out as well. So we updated the watermark feature and we added this um, splash screen example. So let me show you what it looks like and what a before and after could, could look like for a splash screen edition for your embedded 360 virtual tours. So this is a blog post uh, on cloudpanda.com. It's sharing our new apartments.com integration. And just like any blog post, you have text, you have images, you have headlines, you have links, et cetera. And right here, I have an embedded 360 virtual tour. Okay. So when without the splash screen, it opens open. So it's an open, it's an opened, virtual tour and you can jump into it right away. Um, but if you prefer to have someone click for the initial engagement and then have it load, what you can do is I'm gonna actually open up this virtual tour in full screen. So was, this is a direct link to that virtual tour. If I click edit tour and go to the brand kit here, scroll down and turn on embedded tour, splash screen on. Okay, so this is one little tall really quick, turn it on. And now I'm gonna click publish. So when you view the tour directly on the URL link, it opens up like you would be open, of course. But on a third party site, if I click refresh, so this is our blog example. Now the title of the tour is up top and the big play button's right here. And now I can click play to open that virtual tour. This can be really nice for specific websites who want to really optimize for speed, but still have the engaging elements. So if someone is wanting to wait or delay the load, they can now do that via turning on the splash screen option. And of course I can make this bigger as well. Um, and here's how you could do that. So in, when you click the share icon, you have this little um, custom JavaScript little embed code here. Within this code, you can change height and width, et cetera, when you embed it in your website or a third party location, okay? So that's how that works. Really simple. Turn it, one click of a button, and now you have a play button and it looks beautiful, optimizes for speed and helps your business today. Okay, so what do you need to do next? Go to cloudpayment.com, sign up to become a Pro Plus member and start making virtual tours with the world's best 360 virtual tour software. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm excited to join you on your journey.